you take some of these bags for me? Thank you. Oh, I've had enough of this mall to last me a lifetime. How can you not like the mall? It's got everything. Yeah, but that makes the choice that much harder. I mean, it's huge, and they just keep on adding all these stores. Yeah, it was all worth it, though, because we got all the Christmas presents right here. Mm-hmm. What, no reaction? You're an adult now? The only thing I really want is through that window, and I know you're not going to get it from me. I know this all seems very tragic right now, but believe me, in a couple of years, you're not even going to remember Skate Park, let alone want to play it. Besides, we have a surprise for dinner. Are we going to McDonald's? I'm not going to McDonald's. Your, your mom is making her favorite lasagna. <laughs> it's yummy. Come on. Cheer up. Smile. Sneakers. Now, did your mom get those at Walmart or Costco? Get away. Get away. <laughs> Jamie, get up. Mom's calling. because you can't sing. At least I'm not the one making noise pollution. Hey, Jamie. Honey, why aren't you dressed? Hurry up, and making breakfast. How come she's allowed to watch TV in the morning and I'm not? Because she's already dressed. All right, get up earlier and you can watch TV too. <laughs> anyway, I'm practicing. For what? No one wants to hear you say your dumb songs. Come on, hurry up. Hey, Jamie, I need you to uh, walk Rebecca home from school later, so I'm gonna be at the airport picking up Grant, okay? Okay. And come straight home from school and clean your room, please. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. That's I love good, pouring good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, Megan. Do you want some breakfast? Oh, I've already had some pancakes, thanks. I'm sorry, am I too early? No, actually, it's time to motor up, so pick up your stuff. Let's go. Come on, we're late. Hey, Jamie, you forgot your lunch. Mm -hmm. Bye, precious. Bye. Ah, nice day. Jamie, let's go, come on. Hey, Mike, nice suit. Hey, Doug, wow, nice car. Hey, Jamie, want to come with us? My dad just got this new car. Hi, Mr. Matthews. What's up? Like, there's something on your shoulder. Oh, yes, five in a row. Because you got more weight behind you. I'm gonna show the punch king, deal with it. Till tomorrow. Nice car, by the way. Thank you. All right, Doug, have a good day. Let's go, Jamie. No, it's all right. Don't worry about it. I'll take him to school. I'll see you, uh, see you later, homie. Hey, watch the car, don't scratch it. Hop over. Come on, Jamie, let's go.
Yeah. Compared to mine, my dad's beyond hell. How'd you get here so fast? Dad drives like an old lady. Well, he doesn't go via McDonald's. Oh, are you saying you wouldn't like one of these fries? Or how about some of this? Mmm. Good stuff. Everybody, this is Principal Dan. Hope you're having a great day. Want to wish everyone happy holidays. You know, it's a week from Christmas, and I don't even know what they're getting me. It's probably something lame, like a sweater. It's probably a sweater with the reindeer on it. That's your mom later. <laughs> with parents like mine, no wonder everyone thinks I'm a joke. You want skate park, right? Who doesn't? But it's only on that new console, and they'll never buy it from me. This shit's too expensive, and I have to learn the value of things. Blah, blah, blah. I have to buy my own games out of my pocket money. It's okay, you can come over and play mine. I gotta walk Rebecca home. I'll see you later. Okay, but if we manage to lose her, me and my family will be at the Staples Center. Slow down. What'd you bring that home for anyway? It's my art project. They said we can bring him home today. Jamie, slow down. Why do you have that thing anyways? Jamie. Games must have done your homework first. What about you? Done. I finished it ages ago. Yeah, that's because you have zero homework. Besides, Mom's not here. I'm in charge. No, you're not. Just, just cut it out. You've been hogging all day. I need to get better, Jamie. Put it back on. You broke my NBA disc. You broke it. Here you go, Mom. Thank you, Dad. Oh, it looks so beautiful. All the decorations. My God. Isn't it nice? Oh, I'm so yes. glad you're here. I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> All right, um, go in the kitchen and grab yourself something to drink. I'm going to find the kids. OK. You broke it. Hey, Rebecca, what's wrong? Jamie, she broke my NBA disc. I, I didn't mean to. Did too. You knocked it right out of my hands. Because you wouldn't give me my sink start back. Hey, stop it. Go in the kitchen. Go say hi to your grandma. Go, scoot. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh. I missed you. I missed you more. I missed you more. I missed you more, 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 more. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, I ask you to do one thing until I get home, which is watch your sister. Okay, I mean, your grandmother just got here and she walks into this? She never lets me play the Xbox. It's mine. You bought it for me. You know, part of being an older brother is learning how to share your things. Okay, you're supposed to be the mature one. Instead, you take her things and you upset her. What about me? Nobody seems to care what I want. Jamie. No, you know what? Blake's parents would never treat him like this. My life sucks. Nobody's life is perfect, and you'll realize that when you get older. Yeah? If you ask me, Blake has it pretty good. His parents are nice. I'd give anything for his life. You know, your dad and I love you very, very much, and so does Rebecca. 
No, she doesn't. She hates me. You all do. That is not true. Look, I think that you need to cool off. But you also need to think about the things that you say and how you treat people. I'd give anything for Blake's life. Hey, be careful what you wish for. Jamie, it's me. Can I come in? Yeah. So, you've been suffering from a bad case of one-itis. Huh? Wanting things that you don't have and bothering your folks because they're not buying them for you. Gran, it's not like that. I just... I'm sick and tired of taking hassle from the kids at school. Like, having the wrong sneakers or having the wrong type of jacket. Mom and Dad just don't get it. You think it hasn't always been like that? I was a teenager in the 50s, and I used to envy the girls at school when they had nicer clothes than me. But you know what? You get over it. You do? Uh-huh. Part of being an adult is that you accept that you can't have everything. I'm sorry, Gran, but I have to go to school with people like Russell and Graham every day. And all they talk about is what they're going to buy next. And meanwhile, I'm over here wanting one thing for Christmas. Well, can I tell you what I used to do when I had one itis? Yeah? You remember when you were a little boy and you used to write Santa lists? Let's make this a teenager's list. Yeah? What I used to do is I'd write down everything I wanted and it worked. Sometimes I got them and sometimes I didn't. But either way, writing them down makes them feel less important and it'll make you feel much better. You should get a pad here. I wish for skate park, a new Xbox, and a BMX freestyler. For mom and dad to stop treating me like a kid. And Rebecca and her stupid dog to leave me alone and just disappear and the kids at school to stop laughing at me. For my mom and dad to be just like Blake's. You see? Feel a little better? Mm. Okay.
Morning, Jamie. You tell the Hollister guy to sign the paper today, or he gets nothing. Or we abandon a deal and he gets nada. That's it. You tell him that and see how he reacts. Hey, homie. How'd you sleep? What's happened? What do you mean? Listen, do you like this purple one or the red one? The purple. Yeah, that's what I thought. Where's mom? You mean Brenda? She's picking you up at the mall tomorrow. We already discussed that. I know, but where is she? Well, seeing it's her day off, she's probably with that lunkhead she's dating. Are you all right? You look ill or something. Look, I'm in the mood for breakfast. Why don't you get dressed and uh, we'll motor up and get out of here. Yeah. I'll pass by the office later to sign the paperwork. Hey. Hey, baby, are you off? Yeah, I'm off. You look so cute in a tie. Oh, thanks. Too bad I don't know how to tie it. That's all right. I know how to do that. Rebecca. Who? Rebecca, my little sister. You lost me, man. You're the only offspring I'm admitting to. Is your mama pregnant again? No. What? I mean, Rebecca. She's seven and. Listen, because, you know, Brenda's a little bit too old to be popping him out. So, I have no sister? No. Not as far as I know. I'm the only child? You're the only child I'm paying child support for. And our dog, Duchess? Homie, you, you're losing me. What's up? What's going on? Have a great last day of school, homie. OK. What time will you be back? It depends how the deal goes, but um, I'll bring some takeout. Go watch some TV or something. Here, lunch money. Thanks, Dad. See you later, homie. Punch King now. But how? Is that your dad's car? Yep. What you think? But how? Your dad looks completely different. Like your dad, maybe. Yeah. What's gotten into him? If I tell you something. What? Nah, you wouldn't even believe me if I said it. Try me. It'll sound too nuts. Come on, tell me, man. Okay, I'll guess. Your dad said a brain spasm. Forgot his whole personality. Not even close. Uh, here's another one. He's trying a new look? No. This one has to be it. He got to fuck the aliens and they sucked all his brains out. Wish it was that simple, but no. OK, last night I got in a huge fight with my mom. I wish that her and dad were more like your parents. You did? Yeah. And now, oh, well, see for yourself. So like magic or something? No way, man. Is that any crazier than the aliens thing? Look! They're like twins. So what, your mom is like my mom? I don't know, I haven't met her yet, but they're both divorced. I can't believe that. 
They were always so happy together. It's okay. It's not as bad as you think, and I'll show you how to handle it. Handle it? They're divorced. The one thing I never thought would happen. Is your dad rich now? Sweet! <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hi. Um, how'd you get to school? The bus. Same as usual. Can I ask you something? Sure. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you remember my dad? Like, my folks. Do you remember them? Before they were divorced? Yeah, of course. Did my dad ever drive you to school? No. Never? And Rebecca? Who? Never mind. We're the only ones that know. Know what? The truth. The what truth? AJ said my parents have been divorced for three years. It's like no one knows but us. So? So it's like my parents never existed. It's like we're the only ones that know for some reason. Maybe the wish I made came true. Maybe this is the truth now. What? What do you mean? I mean that maybe this is how it's gonna be from now on. Wouldn't you be even a little stoked if it was? No! I mean, okay, so your folks are divorced and they'll be jerks sometimes, but they're a major benefit. Trust me, being able to do whatever you want, like me, without your parents breathing down your neck. They're not so bad. They won't let you do anything. I don't know how you stand it, but it'll be different now. My parents give me a lot of space. But they don't even live in the same house. Do you know how weird that's gonna be? You'll still see both of them. Just think of all the freedom you're gonna have. I don't have to walk Rebecca home from school. Nope. I don't have to go straight home. If you're not home until nine, they won't notice. I don't have to take out the garbage. I don't have to do anything. I say we should go and celebrate. Let's blow your lunch money. Hey, buttheads, wanna come? I don't think so. See you later, <laughs> suckers. Than yours. Yeah, that's right, I said it before. Open your mind and close the doors, and we'll show you that we'll be number one. One, we'll show you that we'll be number one. One, one, one. Nothing to lose, too cool for school. You out to hell, so what can you do? Light up a candle and get out my way. I ain't got time to play, I'm number one. One, I ain't got time to play, I'm number one. One, one, one. My team is better than yours. Yeah, that's right.
See ya. See ya. Hey, homie, how was your day? Excellent. Yeah, glad to hear it. You should have seen your old man in action. I slayed them. You won? You are looking at the new owner of Powell Electrics. You bought a company? More than that, I mean, we own it, lock, stock, and barrel, all the workforce, all the assets, everything. That's great. I know, man. I know. This calls for a celebration. I say we go to the mall tomorrow and get you some stuff for Christmas. Anything you want. Hey, could you get me a cold beer? There's a movie starting in about uh, 10 minutes. Come on, hurry up. Isn't the mall that way? Yeah, but uh, we're taking a, a little detour. I got a surprise for you. You do? Yeah, a little Christmas Eve present. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Thanks for coming. How could I not? You made it sound like so much fun. Yeah. Hey, this is my son, Leo. Hey, Leo, this is Jamie. This is my son. This is Sal Gennaro, the toughest boardroom brawler you could ever ask for. Ah, Jamie, your dad's just being modest. He's no angel himself. <laughs> so, there's another kid, aren't you glad? <laughs> well, now that we all met each other, let's kick each other's asses. That sounds good. Come on. <laughs> Got a good one? <laughs> Best one. Yeah. That's what I like. Uh-huh. That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Instructor Edwards. Today, we are reenacting the Battle of Helm's Steep. I need two leaders. One, to organize the attackers, and two, the other defenders. Defend. We have a volunteer to defend the fort. Do I have another volunteer for a... Um... Attack. That was easy. All right, a few simple rules for safety. No blind firing. Do not shoot an opponent. Uh, less than 25 feet away, give him a chance to surrender. And no alcohol. Don't stay in school, kids. And the winningest team is the one with the most players alive at the end of battle. Oh, uh, I need you guys to sign um, the waivers in case of injury or death. You're gonna need that, because you're not making it out of here alive. Whatever. Tell him.
They could be anywhere out there. Why don't they just attack and get on with it? Dad, what are we doing? It's been like 20 minutes. It's called mental warfare. You're gonna have to learn this if you want to succeed in business. Cell's freaking out. So what? We're just gonna wait till he surrenders? Trust me, it's gonna work. Hey man, I gotta go take a leak. Ah, ah. 25 foot rule! Oh. Anybody else wants to be a traitor? Okay, good. And I'm the boss. Listen to me, homies. Wife, you were dead. That's not allowed. Nah, I was just faking. We want guys. We want thanks to my kid right here, man. Piece of cake. <laughs> I guess that's my seventy percent, Sal. Yeah. Dad, are you okay? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Just out of breath. Ah. Right here, buddy. I'll see you out there. Seventy percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. You said about 70%. Huh? You said something to Sal about 70%. Oh, yeah, right. What? Listen, son, I told you that we bought the company, right? And it would be 50-50, straight split in the middle, right? Well, we decided to have a little holiday gamble, and whoever would win would get 70%, which means it would be me. Thanks to you, I own it. You bet something like that on a paintballing game? Hey, life is not fun without taking a little risk. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take you around here, whatever you want, let's go shop. You hungry, you wanna eat? Starving. Good, because I could eat a lot more. And knowing what your mom is cooking like, I would definitely eat. Tomorrow's Christmas Day, right? Am I gonna see both of you? You're gonna stay at your mom until tomorrow at lunchtime, then you're back in my place. And Tiffany's cooking lunch, so she'll make some good turkey. It'll be great. Your girlfriend? What's going on with you, homie? You know she is. I just want to make sure it was the blonde one you were talking about. Look, as far as she knows, she's the only blonde girl in my life. We want to make sure that she keeps thinking that, OK? OK. So, Dad, mm. how do you do it? Do what? Make so much money and get a girlfriend like Tiffany. Look, remember that company I told you that I bought? Right? It was worth nothing. It was going downhill. But there's stock and there's buildings that I can sell and make a lot of money. Well, that's what I'm doing, and I'm walking right into the sunset. What about the people? What people? Those companies must have people working for them, right? I told you. Powell Electric's was going downhill worth nothing. At least they walk away with uh, with some money instead of a pink slip. 
Now, enough about this. Let's go get you some presents. Come on. Yeah. T-shirts? Yeah, let's take it. What about this one? Take it for a spin. Yeah, for sure. You want it? Yeah. You got it. This one too? Yeah, let's get it. All right. Anything else? This ball and everything else. <sighs> okay, sir, that's 852.21. There you go. Uh-huh. Thanks for buying me all these clothes and games and stuff. Are you kidding me? You made me a lot of money today. What kind of Scrooge would I be if I only got you a sweater or something? I bet even Blake won't get this much. You think that's it? I got something special coming for you. I can't wait to show it to you. You have more on top of all this? Yeah, of course I do. OK, homie, I got to hit the road. I'm meeting the guys for drinks, and I'm having dinner with Tiffany afterwards. And your mom is picking up in front of the mall at 4 o'clock. And I'll take the gifts with me back home, OK? Thanks, homie. All right, see you later, Dad. You're awesome, homie. I know. Just Christmas shopping, getting some new stuff. You know. You should get it. It looks great. Maybe in the new year. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. You know, not everyone can just go out and buy whatever they want. It's just a skateboard. Yeah, but I haven't got enough money to buy things like a new skateboard. I mean, I barely have got enough money to buy Christmas gifts. I didn't mean to. I mean, how would you, right? Your dad works for Power Electrics, right? Yeah. They're kind of going through a rough patch right now. So my mom and dad are really worried about money this year. But my dad says that some new owner's taking over, so hopefully that that will save the company. I hope it does, too. Thanks, Jamie. I'd better go. See you. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bro, how was the mall? Fine. What's he doing here? Jimmy, come on. We talked about this. You knew Scooter was going to be here. Scooter? What kind of dumbass name is that? Hey. It's a stage name. Stage name? Oh, like Eminem? 
but lame. Okay, you're just gonna have to be nice to Scooter because he's my boyfriend. You have to accept that. Boyfriend? He looks like he could be my older brother. So it's okay for your dad to have a 12-year-old girlfriend, but it's not okay for me? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying you two look ridiculous. Have you looked in the mirrors lately? Jimmy, Jimmy, Shut Jimmy, up and sit down. You, you, stop it. Just you, stop it. Get in here. Get, get. You're just not mature enough to deal with it, Jamie. Oh, God, you just... God, you're a bad kid sometimes. Look what you did to your mom. You're all set. There's menus, just order whatever you want, and all your favorite stuff is in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas Day. Where are you going? Scooter's taking me to dinner. But why can't you just stay home and eat? God, don't be so difficult. I mean, Scooter's got to be with his mom all day tomorrow, so I won't see him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, spending Christmas with your family. What a new idea. <sighs> You know, you can be a real pain sometimes, you know that? Come on, baby, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Nobody. It's me. How's it going? Good. You don't sound too good. Are your parents not blessing the cash? No, they are. It's just, are you there on your own? Yeah, I'm at Dad's, and he's going out with Cindy. But it's Christmas Eve. Who does that? My parents would never normally go out on this day. Mine do. They'll stay in tomorrow night, though. Big whoop. And Mom has a boyfriend who's like 10. Yeah, just like Trey, right? You'll get used to it. I don't know, Blake. Trust me, it'll all be worth it tomorrow. Give me a call in the morning and I'll let you know what stuff I got. Okay. Sweetheart, come on, get up. What time did you get home last night? Not late enough, about last night. Merry Christmas. I have a surprise for you. What is it, Mom? Hey, go, go, get, 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 get. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> you like it? It's like the best Christmas present ever. I know. to wear helmets on those things. Yes, says who? <sighs> Jamie, come on. Fix your breakfast. This old hag is too jealous to let you have fun. Aren't you having anything to eat? I gotta watch my figure, honey. Breakfast is ready.
Kiddo! Hey! You know, you've got some nerve, Mike. What? Right? You're not supposed to pick him up until this afternoon. What, are you gonna stop me from getting my own son his own Christmas present on Christmas uh, morning? Don't you dare try to put this off on me. You're the one violating the custody arrangement. You wanna see what I got you? Ah, uh, yeah, use the kid as emotional blackmail. You know what, it doesn't matter. Because nothing you got him can be as good as the bike I got him. You wanna bet? Come here. You like it or what? Have a seat. No, 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 no. You cannot give a 12-year-old a motorcycle. Well, you've lost your mind. I just did. Can I have a go on it now? Absolutely. No, he is not going on that. It is not safe. Relax, he's safe. Helmet on. Accelerated, the key's over there. You're gonna have a blast. You know, Mike, you always think that some big gift is gonna make up for everything, but I see through you and so does he. And that bike over there, how'd you buy that one? With chump change? You're such an hypocrite. It is Christmas, all right? I thought the kid deserved it. At least I admit that I like to buy things for my family. Oh, that is funny, considering you were the cheapest man alive when we were married. And besides, that's not even for him, it's for you. Guys, did you see that? That was awesome. Hey, listen, wait a second, kiddo. He strikes me as a Walmart kind of guy. Don't you dare bring him into this, unless you want me to bring up your Barbie girlfriend. I mean, what is she, what, what is she, a barmaid or something? I'll have you notice that she's a cocktail waitress, actually. Where? Yeah. At a strip joint? Concerning the way she dresses. At least she's got the figure to back it up. Oh, you did not just say that to me. I just did. Oh. Hello? Hi. Hey, Merry Christmas. Did you get all the stuff you wanted? I guess so. Did you? Dad really did it this year. So did Mom. I got a huge flat screen for my room and a jet ski. How cool is that? That's awesome, Blake. What about you? What cool stuff did you get? Give me some details. Well, Mom got me a bike and Dad got me a motorcycle. That's the best Christmas how I ever heard of. What color is the bike? Black. Wow. They must be making up for something though, right? What do you mean? They're fighting, aren't they? Go smoke your cigarettes, okay? What are you gonna go? You can say that. I can't hear anything. My parents are usually much louder than that. Well, they're outside on the lawn. Parents. They're all the same. Mine bought me the best presents only when they're dealing through their lawyers. How do you put up with it? I mean, I look around at all my stuff. The thing is, I would be getting half these things if they were still together. So you wouldn't swap? If someone said your parents would get back together if you gave it all up? I wouldn't do it. I mean, they were miserable when they were married. They fought all the time. Listen, we're divorced. It's been a while, OK? Mine seem to be trying to kill each other now. Yeah, but imagine if they were in the same house all the time. Total nightmare. I gotta go. Dad's hey, making some business calls. Christmas? I'll be right there. On Christmas Day? Hey, he runs a 24-7 business. Merry Christmas, Jamie. You too. Whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you? Oh. Oh. What is wrong with you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dad, Dad, are you okay? Come on, Mike, oh. bring it on! Oh. Okay? Oh. You okay, Mike? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, Seriously? Oh. Mom! Oh. Stop it. Are you happy now, now that you have all the attention? Oh, yeah. Attention, I love getting kicked. Oh, come on, it's your own oh. fault, Mike. Oh, everything is my fault. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, genocide, you know, everything, pollution, the, the, the price of lucky strikes. How is everything my fault? Oh, man. Your mother just kicked me, okay? Remember that. What is you wrong know, with your mom? Nobody forced you to fall down, Mike. I got kicked. Oh, stop. You're such a baby.
Jimmy, what are you doing here? Hi. It's Christmas Day. I'm, I'm just it's okay. Uh, come on in. I was just helping my mom, you know, chop some vegetables, so it'll be nice to have a break. <laughs> come on. This is my brother, Andrew. I used to have pajamas just like those. I remember. You do? Sure. I mean, you wore them every day in kindergarten. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jamie. How are you? I'm good. Thanks, Mrs. Farley. Call me Susan. Would you like something to eat? Sure. My grand made homemade cookies. You should try one. Oh, and then this is my sister, uh, Rachel, and this is my grandmother. Megan, there's a great photo of you here with those temporary pink hair streaks. Remember them? I thought we burned that one. Yeah, but I have copies. How are you enjoying your Christmas? Hmm? Having family over? No, just my folks, separately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Christmas isn't the same, is it, when a person is split between one house and another? Yeah, it's not the same. No grandparents live? Um. I don't know. Now, Mom, I know you don't like me making a fuss over these, but Jamie, if these aren't the best cookies you've ever eaten, I'll eat the plate. <laughs> <laughs> they're right, they're amazing. <laughs> Your family's really nice. Yeah, they're the best. Sorry if you're coming on Christmas Day. It's okay. You know, you can come over again if you want. You know, sometimes you can wish for really stupid things when you're angry. Like what? Like wanting people to be different, even though they're perfect just the way they are. But whatever happens, your family will be okay. Of course we will, Jamie. Where's this coming from? I nearly forgot. This is why I came around. This is for you. It is? This was the board that I was looking at. I can't take it. I didn't get you anything. Don't worry about that. No, I can't. Look, I know you think I care too much about what my parents get me. And maybe I do. But I wanted to get something for someone they'd appreciate. Take it. Okay. Thanks, Jamie. No problem. Merry Christmas. So what are you gonna do now? Are you gonna go to your dad's? Yeah, uh, his girlfriend's cooking dinner, but I'm not hoping for much. <laughs> and then is your mom having your grand over? I, I don't know. Of course, she probably can't leave the nursing home, right? The nursing home? Yeah, Hillside. It's a care home just outside of town. Oh. How do you not know where she is? How do you know? Oh, well, Rachel volunteers there sometimes. I'd better go. My dad's picking me up at two. Thanks again for the skateboard. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Watching that. So dad's gone then. Eh, don't worry. I'll be back like a bad smell at two o'clock to pick you up. Great. So we can go see Gran. Ooh, I got you something. Uh, nice. And this one's really good. It costs a fortune. I don't. Your mom's in a care home on Christmas Day. Don't you think she deserves a visit? I don't. Dad won't even know that we're there. And if she does, she'll just moan about my clothes and my boyfriend. I want to go and see her. Yeah? Well, I don't. 
Fine, then I'll call a taxi. Really, do you think you're gonna get a taxi today? Then I'll walk. Ugh. Fine, all right, I will drive you. I gotta change first. So, Grant's been in his home for a while now, I guess. Three years in November. You wouldn't believe how much this place cost. You know, the sooner she gives up the fight and pops up to the care home in the sky, the better. Mom, how can you say that? She's your mother. Yeah, and her only joy in life is taking pot shots at me. Believe me, kid, this isn't gonna be fun for either of us. Isn't that the stuff you're supposed to put up with? When it's your parents? Kind of depends on the parent. Look, what you're gonna realize is that not everybody is lucky enough to have a mom like me. Looks like a home away from home. Should be, considering what we're paying for this place. Uh, ma'am, you can't smoke in here. Fine. You know, this country's becoming more and more like a health club. Yeah, uh, we're here to see Gwen Thomas, but what room is old hag in anyway? Room 206. Oh, yeah. But right now, she is in the main living room with the other residents. It being Christmas Day and all. Mom, what is this place? They all look crazy. Because it's filled with a bunch of old people. What did you expect? Mom! You've gotten so big, Josh. I'm sorry, I'm not Josh. Of course you are. Sit down. How's your father? You're losing it. He's not your grandson. Yeah, I'm a... He's my nephew, Peter. You think everyone's your nephew. What, you don't think I know my own family? <laughs> Jamie, get over here. Coming, Mom. Hi, Grand. Merry Christmas. It's, uh, it's, it's Robert, isn't it? No, Mom, it's Jamie, your grandson. I know his name. I haven't seen him enough to remember. And it starts. I haven't seen you for months. Give me a break, Mom. It's only been like four months. I could have died in here, but do you think you'd care? Got that right. Mom! Have you had Christmas dinner yet? Oh, they gave us, they gave us turkey, but it wasn't nearly as good as the kind I make. I brought these for you. Thought you might like them. Oh, they don't give us stuff like this here. Do you mind if I open it? I'd like to have one now. Go ahead. I'll wait till later, and then I'll give some of the crones one. So, you still um, dieting, I suppose? You know me. I like to take care of myself. Well, don't bother. I mean, those thighs are genetic. You're always going to be flabby. That is it. Done. What? You're already going? No. Oh, she never changes. I'm sorry, Gran. Don't worry. You gave me candy. I forgot how much I missed it. I wish there was something else I could do. No, you know, at least someone came to see me. All the folks in here, they got no visitors today. Come. And remember, whatever happens to you, you can rewrite it. It's not too late. And that's a piece of advice from an old lady to you. Thanks, Gran. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, homie? Did mom cook again? No. We need to go see Gran. At Hillside? I can see going to that graveyard would depress anyone. It was Christmas Day. She needed a visit, and no one went to see her. 
not even Uncle Robert. And most of those people there didn't even have visitors. How can Uncle Rob visit? He's not even due to be released for another six months. All right, listen, we're almost home now. Tiffany got some dinner ready for you. You'll be a lot happier, okay? All right. Boys. Jamie, did you have a good day? Did you get lots of gifts? Yeah, I guess. No, oh, you did. What about that bike, huh? You fixed me a drink? Got your whiskey sour right here. Uh... Um, is there something burning? Yep. <coughs> oh. Hey! Oof. That looks good. Whoa! <coughs> Looks good. Hey, hey, no, 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 don't use that, don't use that. Uh, cookies for sure not going on your resume. Sorry, I don't know how it happened. I guess I lost track of time. Well, good thing is you're hot, you can get away with it. And you carry one of this in your purse. How about we uh, defrost some uh, lasagna? Yeah? Can I have that back? Sure, honey. Jamie, did you see what your dad got me for Christmas? They're nice. Aren't they? Real sparkly. Let me tell you something. There's a whole lot more where that came from. And now, with the Power Electronics deal, you two can get whatever you want. What, you think I'm joking? I'm serious, man. You know where I went this morning? Where? While you and Mom were arguing out on the street? I went around to Megan's house. Her dad, Tom Farley, he works for Power Electronics. You know? Yeah, I know. They're a really nice family. A proper family. And for their New Year's present, their dad gets to lose his job. How's that fair? Jamie's business, all right? Someone's got to lose. It's not business, it's cheating. Those people lose their jobs, and you sell off everything they've worked for. All of you know that it's not in any way illegal. It's an accepted business practice. It doesn't mean it's the right thing to do, Dad. Jamie, honey, your dad loves you. Before you get all moral with me, my business is how everything gets paid around here. All right, your clothes, your games, the motorcycle, everything. That's true. But you know what? I don't want any of it. I don't, I don't care anymore. You say that now, Jamie? But I grew up not so much. You know what? It sucks. It doesn't suck as long as your family's together. If you and Mom are like you used to be, and Rebecca, I wish things were back the way they were. Who's Rebecca? I don't know what's gotten into you, man, but, you know, I spent a heck of a lot of money on you for this Christmas, and I don't appreciate you talking back to me and speaking that way to me and throwing it back in my face. It's just stuff, Dad. It doesn't mean anything. That's it. Take the call. Like it's totally normal. Working on Christmas Day. I'll call you back. You know, I, I work hard to get everything you want. And this is how you speak to me? Yeah. What are you going to do, fire me? Just go upstairs. Go to your room. You know what? That's the first thing you said to me in two days that sounds like something my dad, the real Mike Patterson, would say. I don't know. What does he mean, real Mike Patterson? What's gotten into him? Maybe he's got, like, ADHD or something. That's tonight. You got yourself into this, you got to get yourself out.
I wish for family to be I wish for my family to be back the way they were before. Jamie, did you sleep well? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! I'm so happy to be here with you all. Uh, I just want to say that I'm sorry for everything I said to you guys. And I was just being a jerk. And Rebecca, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Well, you're in luck because we declared truce, right? Yes. Seeing as how it's Christmas, we will say no more about it. And we've been waiting for you to come down here so we can give you your Christmas present. Christmas present. Oh, and I've got something for you, Jamie. Thank you. Open it up. Laker tickets! <laughs> it's exactly what I wanted! They're gonna play tomorrow, and I thought we could all go. Really? Yep. Open the other presents, go for it. Basketball! Yep. Yeah, put the hoops up and uh, go play some basketball. What do you say? Yeah! All right. All right. the trash and the lights on the Christmas tree are working. Thanks, Jamie. You know, it'd be nice if they actually made Christmas lights that do work. Or lights that you don't have to have your son fix for you. Oh. <laughs> hey, can I ask you guys a favor? Mm-hmm. Do you guys mind if I invite Blake over for dinner? Wouldn't he want to be with his own folks? Well, he's with his dad, and he's pretty miserable. Trust me, he'll have a lot more fun here. Yeah, he's more than welcome here, honey. Cool. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks, homie. I was just going to see Blake, but I thought I'd stop here first. You going visiting? Yeah, my dad's crazy aunt is in a care home, so we're going to go see her. Hillside? Yeah, how did you... Uh, lucky guess. Look, I didn't get you anything for Christmas. It's okay. But I got you a card.
I know you like skateboarding, so I thought... <laughs> this is great. Thank you. Hey, Megan, come on, we gotta go. I better... Yeah. I was wondering if you wanted to see a movie this weekend? I mean, yeah, why not? Merry Christmas. Hey. <laughs> you look different. Is everything back like it was? Sorry, but the way my parents have been acting the last few days, I, I just couldn't live with it. It's the way mine have always been. It doesn't mean it's OK. No, I guess not. Is your dad home? No, he had to go to his office for a while. I'm on the tray. But it's OK. They left me food. No, come on. You're coming with us. Sure. Okay. You better than that. Nice shot. Uh, no. Okay. How about I'll go you? Seventy. All right. Oh, good nice. flush. That's a toilet. <laughs> Fifty point right here. Fifty point. What? <laughs> Man, you Come mean, on. you mean, oh, oh. Let's go. And he makes ball, it? Ball. I told you wait, I wait, wait. That's Robert. Yeah. Uncle Robert's still a science teacher, right? No problem with the police? The police? You wouldn't get so much as a parking ticket. How you doing? I'm good. It's going. It's... Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What's up, man? Merry Christmas. Right. Merry, hey, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Thank you. Merry Thank Christmas. you. Hey, honey. Right. How's the drive? Good? Hey, perfect timing. Hi, sweetie. Hi. 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 Hey. So good to see you. How are you? Thank you. 